Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy, SD Booker. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Let's go. Now, this video, of course, the title says it. This video is about the young gentleman, the 20 year old Dante Wright of Minnesota that was uh, fatally shot. Uh, by an officer, a Minneapolis officer, police officer, female. Now, I am the objective introvert. Be sure to check out that channel also on YouTube. So I'm going to attack this from a couple of angles. Uh, first, I want to say it's unfortunate that the young man died, uh, but this could have been avoided. So, so brothers... Young brothers, mostly, but even some young, some older brothers need to get this. So, let me start off by saying, Dante Wright uh, ignited, started this conflict. Uh, he was wrong. He was dead wrong. And um, all he had to do was be accountable, own up. To his mess, he had warrants. Uh, look, looks like minor warrants, and just hey, be handcuffed, go to jail, sit it out for a couple of days, and uh, you're back on the streets. But uh, he felt froggy, felt confident that he could escape or elude uh, the police officers, and he went for it. Uh, yeah, just just. Uh, not sure what that young man was thinking. Um, and he had his girlfriend in the car with him. So uh, he was very irresponsible, very childish and uh, selfish in that act. Now, on the flip side, there's a couple of things that are wrong with the police officers. For one, when the uh, the one police officer is trying to handcuff Dante I saw I'm not a police officer never have been but I've been handcuffed a few times and I've never been handcuffed while standing inside of an open door inside of my open door I've always been brought to the back of the vehicle that's the number one problem number two I was always told to spread my legs uh, and I think that's to give the officer some leverage over me and keep me off balance. I didn't see that happening, really. And so, for whatever reason, Dante went for it. Uh, got back in the car and tried to escape. Now, you can hear on the video, uh, officer said, don't run, Dante. Don't run. And, uh, He's not listening. And then you can hear right after that, an officer said, taser, taser, taser. Now, that lets me know that uh, they didn't want to kill him. That the thought was to tase him. That was the thought. Now, right after the taser, taser, taser announcement, you hear the gunshot and you hear the officer said, oh my God. I shot him, a single shot. Now, I do believe it was an accident. Uh, they came out, the police department came out with a statement and said the officer accidentally, accidentally pulled her gun, her weapon, instead of the taser. I believe that. Uh, could be wrong, but I do believe it because not only because of the taser, taser, taser announcement, but also, there was a single shot. That means one shot. And if you know anything about officers, officer training, they're not trained to shoot one time. They're trained to shoot until the threat is neutralized. All right? The threat was not neutralized. 
So when she shot only one time, that lets me know that she thought she had her taser because it's in her subconscious to keep shooting. And she only fired a single shot. That lets me know she thought it was her taser she grabbed. And immediately she discovered that she realized, wow, I shot him. And that's what she announced. She, she said, I shot him. Oh my God, that was a child. So she was shocked and caught off guard. So I do believe she meant to grab her taser and accidentally grabbed uh, her, her weapon. But I see mistakes on both sides from Dante. Hey man, just take your, your lick, get handcuffed, uh, get handcuffed. Like my, my pipe, I got the tobacco pipe tonight. You like that man, some uh, cherry. Cherry tobacco. Take your lick, own up, be accountable. You got caught. You got warrants. Uh, go to jail, man. And uh, if it's anything like uh, Dallas County, Dallas, Texas, you know, you'll be out in a day. You go to city court and uh, so packed, man, you'll be out in, in one day, and maybe a couple of hours, man. But, uh, you know, just, just own up, man. And uh, you can't be selfish. It's too late for him now. I'm talking to the public now, young men and, and brothers in general. Man, you, you have to think long term and look at the long term effects of uh, he put that young lady's uh, life in danger, his girlfriend. She could have been shot. And um, his life was taken. And for what? Over some traffic warrants. You just have to comply and get handcuffed and, you know, get in a patrol vehicle. That's it. It's not a big deal. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it happens a lot now where guys want to run and I don't know if they believe the cops won't shoot them. Now, from the age of 17 to maybe 24, man, it seems like I was going to uh, jail every year for tickets. Now, in the neighborhood I grew up in, the culture was, man, we don't pay tickets. We don't pay tickets. They just got to catch us. That was that was the culture. That was the attitude in the neighborhood I grew up in. Uh, I didn't pay any tickets. They caught me each time and I had to sit it out, but I never thought of running. You know, I knew, hey, I get caught and uh, hey, just comply. I'll be out in the day. I'll work out some kind of payment arrangement for the rest of the balance or may wipe it clean. You know, it can go either way. Uh, you know, I don't have those issues anymore. That's when I was a young man, you know, uh, I hadn't had any issues in almost, uh, two decades. So I'm speaking about when I was a young man, but, uh, let this be a lesson, man, uh, value life and respect life and, uh, respect the position, you know, officers is in, officers are in, you know, uh, it's a dangerous job. Very dangerous. He could have pulled a gun out on him. You don't know what this guy's thinking. But, uh, yeah, teach your boys. Teach your boys. Just comply. And uh, see another day. You know, the only way I'm not complying if I feel my life is in danger. No, I'm not complying. I'm going to fight to the end. But traffic tickets? Come on. Come on. And, you know, I don't know this for a fact, but... I, I'm willing to bet this young man did not have a solid father figure in his life because those are just not the actions of a young man who has sound uh, mentor mentoring in his life. Sound A sound man that's given sound wisdom and knowledge and principles, right? Someone with scruples that's, that's giving him the game in his life. I, I bet he doesn't have that in his life. And I'm willing to bet the young lady he was with, his girlfriend, doesn't have a sound 
solid father in her life either. Because let me tell you something. If she did, I don't think he would try that. Because he's putting her life in danger. And uh, if he gets away, even if he gets away, they got the license plate. And she's attached to it. She's associated with that uh, evasion. So, you know, I can't see a father, a solid father being in her life either. Because I think there would be more respect for her life, her well-being. Yeah, so because uh, you don't want to face that father and, and have to answer those questions. So, hey, just my guess. But, yeah, value life. And uh, I know they're rioting and, and uh, causing havoc out there in Minneapolis. But for what? This man ignited that. He started that over something simple. And like I said, I believe it was an accident. It was an accident, not only because she vocal they vocalized taser, 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 but she shot a single shot, and officers are not trained to shoot one time. That lets me know she thought she had her taser. They're shoot to neutralize the threat, whether that threat is dead or not moving. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it together, guys. Peace.